All right, how's it going everyone? I'm Glukaze and today we're going to be completing 26 mode or if you're more traditional 620 mode in Forgotten Memories and I'm not gonna do any cuts just because obviously like just to prove or whatever that I've completed 620 mode and I actually already did this with a friend so um this is possible solo I did not know this was possible solo like at all because the game is actually so difficult if you're solo but there's actually a couple of strategies for solos because obviously like the best way to play like FNAF games for me at least is solo because honestly it just it just makes it more scarier right and I wanted the game to be scary and I feel like the game is scary kind of but once you get the hang of it like the only thing that really scares me is whenever the I don't know what those are called like the pipes when they start bursting let me close this right away all right so I figured out the strategy from a YouTube video I'll leave the link for the YouTube video in the comments down below or the description not comments but what you have to do is go over the way over here go all the way to arcade see where Freddy is where is he oh he saw me right away my god okay I good Wait, I think I heard the music box I think I did I'm not sure. Oh yeah, by the way, you can counter the music box. I had a lot of people ask me, how you counter the music box? Um, you literally, or not the music box, the curtains, because you don't actually have to close them. Oh, Foxy's already out. I didn't even hear him. Alright. Oh yeah. Yeah, the puppet's out. So what you have to do with the puppet is you have to literally just look up. And you'll see, you'll hear the noise. Oh, there he is. Alright, yeah, I don't think you guys heard it right there. Because obviously the, the vending machine or whatever, or not the vending machine, the arcade machine started going off. But what you want to do is just go all the way to arcade and just camp it until this actually resets. And obviously you want to move around so you don't get stuck by Golden Freddy. There you go. And it's a lot easier in solo than I thought it would be. Just because it uh, for solo, you don't actually get as many errors as you would if you were playing multiplayer which is nice I'm really glad that they I don't know I don't know if they changed it because I swear I got like three or four errors every night when I was playing solo like a couple days ago but now it's changed which is very nice I really like that change all right though I hear the music but I'll try to like I feel, I'm just gonna shut up so you guys can hear the noise that it the uh, puppet actually makes See that one right there. I don't know if you guys heard it, but that one is the noise that you want to like watch out for. And all you want to do, it, he works like Screech from Doors. So if you've played Doors, that's how the puppet works. And if you haven't played Doors, the way Screech works is you literally just have to look at him and he'll go away. But for the puppet, you have to look up when it makes that noise. And you just want to look up and look around. And this never happened to me before. I did not know that's how the puppet worked, which is very nice because obviously, like, if I had to run to close the curtain every single time, that would suck. That would literally just make this impossible. Like, that would actually make this impossible. And the 620 mode is actually, like, really easy. Once you know what you're doing... Oh, the puppet's out again. I hear the music ever so faintly. But, like, I think they should add more game modes other than, like... Okay, Fox is out again. I was so confused. Um, they, I think they should add more game modes because I feel like this is just a little too easy. See there, there. All right, that's the puppet right there. I feel like they should add uh, objectives instead of tasks to do. Like you have to do this in order to complete the night. Cause then you have to explore like multiple places in the pizzeria. Obviously, like the restart generator and the uh restart arcade they're so good it's just like i could just stay in here and just camp the entire way through and i feel like the only part that's actually like i wouldn't say like hard i would just say like more difficult is generators just because cheek is there but literally the only one that comes in here is like freddy and you can literally just sit in this corner just a literal blind spot i don't think that's like a bad bad thing but like I just feel like because like what I have to do essentially is just stay in here until this resets and then I have to make my way over to generators and restart those 
as soon as I can. I heard the puppet again. I don't know where. I'm just going to keep looking up. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you also have to move around there. Alright, there we go. But you have to move around. So Golden Freddy doesn't get you. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have to go all the way to generators. Hopefully Freddy and Foxy are not anywhere around. Which they probably are. Breed honest. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. Go in here. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. What? They can open the door now? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. I did not know they could open the doors now. They could, I don't know. Have they always been able to open the door? Because I swear that's the first time that's happened to me. All right. Anyway, I'm invincible for now. So let's go all the way and make her way to Jen. Is this way? Are you kidding me? I, I have, this is, this is not the ideal RNG that I was expecting to have. And the cherry on top is that the damn puppet is out right now. God, I'm going to, I'm going to think I'm going to lose power here. Oh God. Hi, hi, thank you. Okay, God. So Foxy's not this way. If he is, I'm cooked. And I'm gonna have to go this way because Bonnie's just gonna block it off and I don't have time. Yeah, let's just hope Foxy's not this way because if he is, I'm, I'm actually cooked. That's the kitchen, God. Oh my God, I, oh, that is so lucky. That is actually so lucky. Oh my God. See, that's exactly the only thing that scares me in this game. It has like a perfect score on me right now in terms of the <laughs> like jump scare wise that is the best jump scare in this game oh no okay so i know the bottom one was on but i think both of them ended up getting okay oh that's so lucky too chica's across right now let's hope she doesn't go left god oh oh no not now not now chica i thought she was across the whatever well um She's gonna keep walking? Are you serious? Oh my god, Chica! There's no way Chica looked at- Did she even see me? Alright, so she's blocking that way, so that means I have to go all the way this way. I think she's following me. I hope not. Dude, this is so... Turn left here? No. One more turn. Chica, please Chica, just keep walking. There's nothing to see here, Chica. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Please go in Freddy. Not now. Not now. Anytime but now. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now we pretty much won the night. Now we're pretty much good. There's the puppet again. But now we're pretty much good. See, that's why I want it to be like task oriented. Or there's something to do like I don't know I, I I probably will come up with ideas as I think about them but like right now the only thing I, I I've like thought about is instead of the generators in the arcade is to have something to do on the cams like maybe like find an animatronic on the cams because there was like a, a FNAF fan game that had that that you had to take the cams for an animatronic and I'm just gonna go back to the arcade just in case I get another error but Basically, what you have to do is you have to find the animatronic on the cam and stay on it for a little bit, and then it'll go away. But, um, I feel like that's really something that should they should implement. Like, different game modes that don't require you to, like, restart the ventilation, but require you to, like, do objectives. So, like, you have to, like, I don't know, I wouldn't say, like, like, Among Us task. How about that? Like, <laughs> that's the best way I could put it, like, Among Us task. I mean, we already have restart generator and... Ready to start ventilation, so I mean, why not add more? Why not add more? But like, don't make it things that could kill you, though. That's the one thing. There we go, though. That wraps it up. That wraps it up. I feel like there should be like more things to do, though. Like, really. It is a little too easy. I, I will say that. It's a little too easy. Because there, there's only two places you have to be at. So, I mean, like, an objective-based, like, game, I would say, would be better. Because it forces you to, like, not... Because I've, I don't think I've gone to the loading dock once. 
that's the thing. I think they should make it so you have to go through like every room like per night instead of just making it so you only have to go through uh like oh you only have to go through arcade oh you only have to go to generators like i've never been to like the like party rooms and i i hardly go to the i don't know like i said before i haven't gone to the loading dock so i feel like objectives that make you go into these other places in the map during the night would be good and also that that cam check as well just because and it should make like a little noise just to be sure because obviously like you might be all the way at like generators or something all right anyway that is 620 mode and forgotten memories don't forget to join my discord the link for that is in the description below but anyway thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more content and see you guys next time